Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to the next concept. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the z-score given a probability and I'll probably split it up into multiple videos. So before we've already covered how to find the probability given a z-score. That's what we did in the previous videos. If you didn't watch those, I highly recommend you do before watching these. And now we're going to be doing the opposite. And before we were using a calculator and a table, and I'm going to be using a calculator and a table in this series as well. So to kind of show in notation what we did before and what we're going to be doing now, before what was happening was we were given a z-score, so let's say maybe like 1.62, and we were finding this probability, right? So basically, we were given this, Z score, and we we're finding this probability. Remember, probability, as I mentioned before, same thing as the area under the graph. So we were looking for this. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for a certain Z score. Let's just put an A value there as a variable. You could put any variable there you want. Maybe you could even put like a small Z. This is a capital Z over here given a certain probability, let's say like 0 0.70, for example, or even something more specific, let's say 0 0.7132, whatever it is, given some kind of probability. So what's going to happen is we're looking for that A value, a certain z-score, while we're given this area here, this probability, which is 0 0.7132. And it doesn't necessarily have to be to the left of A. It could be to the right of A. So I'm going to show you in different scenarios how to find that z-score. So we can run into multiple scenarios when we're finding the z-score given a probability. We can be given the probability to the left of that z-score that we're finding, of that A value that we're finding. So the probability that z is less than A. Or we could be given the probability to the right of A, right? That Z is greater than A. So if we show this on a diagram, if we're gonna be looking for a certain A value, right, we could be given the probability to the left of that A value, right? So we could be given this probability over here. So you could think about this being like a left tail sort of scenario, right? Given the probability to the left of A. While this here, we could be finding an A value, a Z score, right? Remember the A value is a Z score, given the probability or the area to the right of it, the probability that Z is greater than A, right? So we could be given the right tail probability, right? So we could either be given a probability to the left of A or to the right of A. And then we could further break this down. The probability that we're given can be either less than 0 0.5 or greater than 0 0.5. It can also be equal to 0 0.5, but I'm going to mention that in a little bit at the end. It's a pretty basic uh, scenario if it equals 0 0.5. Basically, I'll just mention it now. If it equals 0 0.5, like the probability that Z is greater than A is equal to 0 0.5, then what does that mean? That means that we're at zero. That means the A value is zero because we're looking at this over here. Or if this was the probability that Z is less than A is equal to 0 0.5, we'd be looking at this area over here. And either way, that A value, that Z score would be zero. Right, so if you see equals 0.5, then you know you're gonna be working, the z-score you're working with is zero. So that's why I kind of neglected it in these scenarios. So let's break these down a little further. Notice that we're working with finding the z-score here given a probability to the left of A. What if that probability that we're given is less than 0 0.5? Well, if you think about it, if we draw this out, if 0 is in the middle and then to the left of 0, 0 
then we know in this case the a value is going to be negative. Because that probability that we are given to the left of a is less than 0 0.5. So it has to be on this side of the normal distribution. So that a value, that z score, is going to be negative. That's the implication here. Okay? What if the probability that we're given is greater than 0 0.5? Then, uh, sorry, if this is the middle 0, then we know that the a value, because we're looking at the probability to the left of a, then we know that a value is going to be positive. It's going to be to the right of 0 because this probability that we're given is greater than 0 0.5. Okay, so an example of this is if you see maybe like the probability that z is less than a is equal to 0 0.3, right? Notice that that probability that you're given is less than 0 0.5, so you know that a value is going to be negative. Versus an example of this is like the probability that z is less than a is equal to 0 0.7. Notice that that probability you're given is greater than 0 0.5, and because you're looking you're given the probability to the left of that A value of that Z score, you know that that A value you solve for is going to be positive, right? So hopefully that makes sense. This scenario, it's given a probability to the left of A, right? So if you see something like this, and then if that probability is less than 0 0.5, the A value is gonna be negative. If that probability given is greater than 0 0.5, then that A value is gonna be positive. It's gonna be to the right of zero. Okay, what about this scenario here? What if we're given a probability to the right of A? Well, if the probability is less than 0 0.5, then notice that the A value is going to be positive, right? It's going to be to the right of 0 because we're given this probability to the right of A, and it's less than 0 0.5, so it's going to be greater than 0. Right, so that A value is going to be positive in that case. And then in this case over here, zeros in the middle. If we are given a probability to the right of A and the probability is greater than 0.5, that's going to be here. Right, and that A value is going to be negative because that probability to the right of A is greater than 0.5, so we got to be to the left of zero. That A value is going to be negative. Right? So an example of this is if you're given like the probability that Z is greater than a certain Z score, than a certain A value, let's say it's equal to 0 0.3. Right? The probability given is less than 0 0.5. Then we know that that A value is going to be positive, while this probability that Z is greater than A is equal to maybe like 0 0.7. Right? then we know that that A value is going to be negative. And so what I'm going to do now in the next few examples is I'm going to go over an example for each of these scenarios and basically how to solve for these Z scores given these sort of probabilities using a table and a calculator.